I don't know about you, but I'm still not over the Super Bowl. So let's talk about this year's Super Bowl's greatest moments. We're obviously going to talk about Taylor Swift right now because it's just one of those things you can't escape, whether you're Swifty or not. So here we go. Here we have her having the time of her life, slamming, chugging that beer like one of our feels, as she should because homegirl just came from Tokyo to watch her boyfriend play in this Super Bowl, okay? So that just makes me think, are we gonna see Taylor Swift enter her Bellica era? We all know she's dropping an album, so I mean, everybody's doing it. Or maybe just a really hardcore country song. Next, we have Lana Del Rey to her right at the game, looking like she's her designated driver. And I mean, consequently, everybody else's designated driver that was hanging out because everybody else looks like they're beyond the point of tipsy except for her. Oh, I love you, Lana. I hope you're having a way better day today. But anyway, let's move on. So here I want to show you guys one of the best moments, in my opinion. Here we have Isaiah Pacheco, this Boricua player from the Chiefs, who, upon being interviewed by the commentators, kind of just does his thing, says what he wants to say, represents his cultura boricua, and then just drops the mic and goes because ain't nobody got time for questions right now. I'm about to celebrate that we just won the Super Bowl. One of my favorite moments for sure. Okay, moving on. Over here we have Nicole Hartman, in my opinion, the MVP of this game because it was that touchdown that did it, got that victory. But when he was being interviewed after the game, he said something along the lines of like, I just blacked out during that moment and then I was told we won. I mean, I get that, but own your moment, man, because that victory is yours. You did that thing. So I wanna see more of him on the, on the headlines everywhere. I wanna see more of him all over the place because he did that. And now let's talk about another big moment, maybe not a really great moment, but still something we can't unsee. The way Kelsey yelled at his coach, I mean, that was not pretty at all. And hear me out, it's not an excuse, but let's just hope it's one of those things that he learns from, learns from this type of coverage and does better. I mean, everything can be a learning experience, right? But anyways, one thing to point out is, will he turn all toxico like that on Taylor Swift? Hopefully not. Only time will tell, right? And finally, now we can talk about that gem of a halftime show, which was my favorite part. That was a world-class show by Usher and all his friends. Whoever says it wasn't that good or didn't like it or wasn't into it was probably a newborn or barely like in kindergarten during those times when all the rest of us were at the club dancing and having a good time to all these hits that he performed. You can't deny that he did a magnificent job dancing and singing, but then on top of that, he brings out Ludacris and Lil Jon, and they do that club anthem, Turn Down For What? I mean, I never got up off the couch faster, and you couldn't sit me down because everything after that was just even better and better. I mean, then he had the Alicia Keys, who did amazing. I mean, she is just so gorgeous, such a great singer. I was over the moon. My inner teen self was screaming. I mean, that was so good. And then we have them performing my boo. I mean, they were hot. It was on fire. No offense to her husband, Swiss Beats, but I mean, they were hot. That chemistry on stage. No wonder we had so many religious commercials during breaks. I'm just saying. That was just an amazing thing to see after so many years, both of them on that stage doing that amazing classic hit, My Boo. Obviously, we know who the target audience was and I love every single minute. I just wish it would last a little longer. And last but not least, we see these images of Bad Bunny circling around social media all alone at the Super Bowl. Like us Latinos say, not him quedándose como el perro de las dos tortas. It's probably not that. He's probably in his Yo Me Quiero Solo era, enjoying his own company. We'll see what 2024 has in store for El Conejo Malo. With that being said, this is the end. Those were my top moments of the 2024 Super Bowl in its 58th edition. Let me know what your favorite moments were in the comments. And if you like this video, comment, like, share, do whatever you gotta do. Bye.